says that Karina, Sabrina, and Thomas, according to the report, shall remain in their current placement with Julia. And then Vivon Team will remain current placement with Anastasia Romero. But, um, do you and know why they... Remain, it doesn't say permanent status. That on Team Karina, Sabrina, and Thomas Romero will remain wards of the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe Court under the care and custody of the vice ACS, as it didn't say permanent, as of right now, until we're able to move forward with the case plan. Well, I could show you the letter that my daughter got that says that they're permanent wards. Okay. She got the letter from which one? Um, from you guys about my visits. Okay. Give me a second here. And why am I starting over on my um case plan back down? What level am I on? Because um in August I was in level two. Say it again, Christina. I go ahead. Say it again. Why am I back down to level two when in August I was in level two? Let me see here. Is it because that um the other social workers weren't getting a hold of me and not setting up these visits or anything? Well, I know that there were some. Let me just pull the case. Give me a second, okay? I don't want to speak and guess what you're asking me. Give me a second. Um, no, I don't, but, um, I remember it. It's still the same case plan as, um, back in 2009. <laughs> line number 10, the court finds, this is the court findings. The court findings says um, that on Team Karina, Sabrina, and Thomas Romero shall continue as permanent wards of Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe Court placed with an ACCFS uh, of care and custody and supervision remain in their current placement. So they are actually still, they're in their current placement where they are staying with Julia and they are staying with Anastasia, but they are still part, they are still permanent of awards of ACSS until you're able to complete the required case plan I that finished put for you. Okay, but you know what? I finished about like uh, two of them so far. Yeah, but this one, Christina. This one? one? The, the case plan that you signed, if you look at the date. I know that, but you, listen to me. Okay. Um, This has been like almost like eight eight years that I've been doing case plans after case plans after case plans and still my kids hasn't been returned to me and I still haven't been given a reason why my children were taken in the first place the only thing that I know is that I went to your guys's office and asked for help for a healing process and my domestic abuse and um, none of that was given to me except for these case plans you guys keep throwing at me Remember when we were at court and he had asked for uh, one of the court findings that he had asked for a motion to um, custody of the children. Remember that happened when you made that request and the court said it was denied. They didn't even let me oh. read my um, my court thing. I was like not able to read it. And oh, um, okay. and another thing too is that. Uh, 
my motion never should have been denied because under the Indian child or uh, audiences, you guys had no proof of taking my children away from me. Well, all I could say to you, Christina, is that's based on the, the outcome of that, because we can make the offer, we can talk to the courts, but they are the ones who make the final decision, the judge does. And according to the order of it, it says um, the mother's motion for custody of the children is denied. So, but again, moving forward, what you have 90 days to work on your case plan because it started in January and actually ends, actually, I believe it starts, give me a second, let me pull up your case plan. What do you know of my case, why my children were removed, if I may ask? Well, that's a very broad question because I know there's a lot of movement in the case for the past years, and um, I know that there has been a needed. I know they were in foster care for quite some time. Yeah, from the old social workers that um, placed them there that were um, fired for mishandling Native American parents. Well, I know that a lot of things have happened as far as the case. Um, I know that um, they were in foster care and you know there was a lot of movement in your case. But what makes it so difficult from what I see, what has made it so difficult that uh, you have to follow the case plan. I and did. The case plan has been doing a lot of the, the, the drug screening. And there was a time where you were consistent though. There was a time where you did come in. In fact, there was, there's a law that says that you were consistent in August, I believe. But as time went by, you decreased completely to the point that you weren't even here coming for your drug Okay, but listen, my, my children wasn't removed for the medical marijuana use. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't start... Um, and I have a prescription when ju that, that judge told me to get my prescription, and I did. And I turned it in. You guys got a copy of it. And then the tribe says that they don't recognize it. So, And I do have all my drug screens from 2007. They're all clean except for when I started smoking after my father died. So you tell me something else that why they took my children away. I, I need to know. All I know is that as of right now, the courts and us, we want you to follow the case plan, Christina. As no, right but, but you know, if you look at all my case plans, I completed it at least since 2009. I um, completed about like 30 or so case plans since I first walked yeah, I, in the office. See. There are some notes here. There are some notes that it does say that it has the code SD, which is effectively dis discharged from that. But there are some that are still ongoing. And what and are the reasons are on those ongoing plans? What the What are the reasons that, for those ongoing case plans, may I ask? Well, if you look at your case plan, number three tells you that says to address and begin recovery from substance abuse. I don't have any sobriety. substance abuse. I never had no um, problems with alcoholism or any kind of drugs. None. So please give right. me a reason why you took my children. Christina, so you don't know the answer to that question? No, I don't. I don't know why they took my kids. They can't say it was for drugs because I never had no alcohol or no drug plans. They just told me to do some alcohol and drug assessments. So I did those because that was part of my case plan and I didn't have no drug problems, no alcohol problems or any kind of drugs of any kind. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you still don't know why nothing has happened yet? Yeah, I, that's what I'm calling to ask. Why is it nothing happening? Well, I get, I'm going to say it to you, but I said to you earlier, um, we did request at the court because they know the case much longer than we know it, as far as as far as I know it. And so, according to the courts, they thought that they could not uh, when you requested that motion to have your children. It was denied by the court. Is it because so of my can't. money and my children's money? What do you 
mean by that? What has to do with the money? Um, well, that's the only reason what those social, the first social workers said was because of their money. And then they sent me off to doing budgeting classes, and I got the certificate in that. Mm -hmm. And they broke, um, I was broke for two years because of it, because they took my money. And then they asked me to sign a paper to, um, give up my parental rights and then I'd get my money back but I didn't sign no papers so your, your concern is what that, that you don't have the money that, that should be given to you is that what your concern is no my concern is what is the reason why they took my children for eight years that, that is something I'm, I'm surprised that you're asking me that question now after all these years that you, you have no idea what happened. I've been asking for I've been asking for eight years. Yes, I have. Because mm -hmm. I know that uh, in the report that I did submit at the court, uh, and I can tell you that verbatim, that it talks about um, there was a time the kids lived with I believe it was Jean, and there was an issue with a David that lived there with them. And okay, but um, Esmeralda, that doesn't explain my reason why my children were removed. You still haven't given me any explanation why my children were removed. Okay, I tell you what, why don't you come into the office and you were supposed to be here on Monday to talk about this. I know, so. but I called in and told you I was still, I couldn't get no ride because my car's broke until Thursday. And um, I asked you for a ride that one day, but you said you couldn't come get me. There was no way for me to get you on that Monday, so. And then Tuesday uh, I couldn't come because I still didn't have my ride. And today I don't have no ride, but I've been keeping in contact with you every day. Yes, you have. Yes, you, you, well, you called. I know you have. You called. And I, I made note of that, that you've called. So I, I acknowledge that, Christina, you have called. Um, but then you still have to do drug screens somehow. That is part of your case plan. Yep. And have you done any of those of those this week? <laughs> I just told you I wasn't though. able to make it in there, but I did. I did tell you the truth. Yes, I did use the medical marijuana, and that showed on my last test. And then you said that I was positive for some drug called um, what's that called again? I forgot what was that. Oxycodone. Yeah, you said I was. Um, positive for oxycodone and um, I didn't do no oxycodone. But I called you back. I spoke to you and I said to you that you were clear on that one. That yep. the line did show up. And I know so and I still want to sign that paper when I get a chance to get in there. Sure. I'll, I'll provide that for you. I won't hold that back from you. Yeah, I'll get that for you. Um, so uh, what time is the visit tomorrow? Tomorrow is at tomorrow's at four o'clock okay yeah, now I haven't been smoking and I haven't been taking my prescribed pain pills mm -hmm. so the only thing that should be showing up in my drug screen is just the THC nothing else and I'm being honest yeah, with you yeah okay so we'll just take the test we have to take the test when you come in on tomorrow or do the screen for you yeah, but um, you don't have no reason why they took my children? We can talk that in more detail. That's a very in-depth question you're asking me. So we can talk about that tomorrow when you come in. All right. Thank you. Okay.